of Steel. 39th meeting for Roby against the Wigan Warriors. This now is Greg Richards. Come of age lately has Richards played the ball to Roby. That was Wilkin. Here is Luke Walsh. Now it's with Jordan Turner. Great ball. And oh, almost a chance. There is a chance. A chance there for the first try for Matthew Fleming. And there's a bit of a pushing and shoving going on here. He was a beautiful short pass as well, Walk Fleming away. the centre. Is there a penalty coming short sure for a high tackle? Yep. High tackle by Sam Tompkins. I think he was uh, wrong footed and just uh, caught him no, high no, as he was no, going no. through. Time off. Ooh, no doubt about it. He's seen a great break early on there. We might just see the first two points in Percival. What's this between the poles? Well, Mark Percival back in the side for the last five. He scored in four of them. He's now scored in five of the last six. And St. Helens had the first points on the ball in hand with Ben Flower, who gets to his feet and plays it to Sam Powell. Powell then goes right and finds Smith. Smith to Tompkins. Tompkins dabs it into the open space. And Adam Swift to the rescue. Oh, dear. Well, I don't think, and I can understand why Lomax is a little bit upset. Yeah, Sargenton could have pulled up, and he didn't. I know there's a lot of tension out there. There always is between these two sides. But I'm afraid Sargenton could have pulled up and gone out of the way of that. Well, the referee will take a report from both touch judges. Sam Tompkins. Jump, jump. It was a nice kick. And this is the moment where Saints got a bit upset. There. Okay. Yes, yes. He knew he was heading for the in-goal area and he didn't need to do that. And it called the St. Helens defence. Sam Powell inside the 20. This is O'Loughlin. Back it comes now. A dab through to the Ingle lane, looking for Lewis Tierney. Finally, Lewis Tierney has he got this ball down. Left hand side, oh, bring in the loose forward, Hands McCarthy the Scarsbrook. No, they've come the opposite. That's great defence. Oh, the legs flew up there. Yeah, yeah the so touch judges on. He's got to penalise him for that. Yeah. This is oh, interesting. Oh, you see he's picked up here. It's a penalty. There's no yes. worry about that. Maybe he might even get investigated by the. Yes, well, they look for hips being higher than the head, and that's exactly what that is. If Mark Percival strikes it sweet enough. Okay, and Mark Percival does exactly that for all. 24 minutes or thereabouts on this required. And Sam Powell came up with it. Wilkin to Turner. They spread that wide, they had a chance, but Wigan defence was on him in a flash. Oh, there's nobody there. I think Bateman to touched one. that, so it's six to go, and they won't need six. It is a try from Mark Percival. It is a try from Mark Percival, and St. Helens hit the front. They've taken two kicks at goal, and they finally found the way through this Wigan defence. Mark Percival's return to this team has been critical. And it all came about by a silly pass, wasn't it, by Wigan? And you can see that uh, Bateman has uh, touched it again. It was back to six. They didn't need it. The Wigan defence there was all at sea. They had the numbers. You can count them. Do whatever you like. Look at it get away with this. Robert just gets the knee. Pulls it away. But look where the Wigan defenders are. One, two, three. All together. Leaves the gap. Percival says thank you very much. The Saints have taken the lead. And Percival to try and add. The extras to his try, which he does. Good work by Greenwood, he's working overtime. Walsh into centre field to Wilkin, he finds Turner. Oh, and Turner with a little drop of the shoulder, it wasn't meant, I don't think. Might come up for Saints here. I think he was looking to pass there, Morgan Knowles in the end got on the end of it and plays the ball of sorts to Roby. He then finds Turner again, this is Lomax who slips under the challenge of Bateman. Boy, the short pass was on as well. Adam Swift now. Back to Jordan Turner. Stab looking for Kyle A. Moore. Knock on by Tompkins. Try for Morgan Knowles. Well, Morgan Knowles on his derby debut. The 19 year old Welsh international. A match winning try against Warrington in April. The Cumbrian has got over for a second Saints drive. Well, there was a dummy there by Turner. Put himself into a good position and it looked at him as it's going to be all over. And then they played the ball quickly. That really could have been a penalty, but he allowed to play on Phil Bentham.
the kick through by Turner. What the, now what team all just in front either way the ricochet and I'm afraid it wasn't the best from Sam Tompkins. He had the opportunity and just spilt it. It became a GIMT gift that gave them a TRY. It's a brilliant kick by Centellas again because you're asking your opponents to try and take the ball under pressure to make it 16-4 with a minute to go to half time and 16-4 it is. Solid defence again from young Matthew Fleming. I say young, he's 22. Tompkins, he's told the dummy. Has momentum taken him there? I think it might have done here. He go upstairs. What did a double moment? What's he going to give though? Well, Sam Tompkins nods try. his head, and Check Phil Bentham gives a semi nod towards the video referee Joe Cobb. He's got to try in the field, Stu. He has a lot of bodies around. All he has to do is get the ball on the line. I don't think there's any problem with a double movement because the momentum just keeps taking it there. Well, difficult to see from that point. Looks like there might be a hand underneath it. Joe Greenwood that's under there. The momentum keeps going forward. The ball's just got to touch the ground at some point. I don't think it does. This is worth more than just four points. Has he seen enough? Has he seen what we've seen, Joe Cobby? He has first points Woo! of this second half. Oh, Eight minutes so of the match remaining. Saints won't mind. They might oh, fancy a drop Bruce goal up. now. Yep. Jordan, Jordan Turner is back there, but he's got the Luke Walsh. For it. Luke Walsh goes for it. The Saints fans will tell you they have kicked it. Luke Walsh has kicked the goal. It's a 13-point ball game. And they're only seven and a half minutes away from a famous win. Well, this brings a smile to everybody's face if you're associated with St. Challenge. And I'm not biased one way or the other, but that's brought a smile to me. That was the right option. And Freddie at dummy half for Wigan, and here is O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin then finds Frank Paul Nuasala, whose home debut at the moment, and his first taste of the derby is going the wrong way. Goal two, walk away! This is Powell. O'Loughlin again, back it comes. That's brilliant play from Mark Percival. Zero still. That is the game winner as far as I'm concerned. Oh, it's on, there's a bit of a shamozzle. Yeah. They're all rushing in. Phil Bentham is blowing the whistle and taking a backward step, and then another backward step, and he's every right to do that. Shirts are off, tattoos are on display. Walk away! Well, there's two, there's two confrontations. Take your pick. Louis McCarthy, Scarsbrook, he has been in the thick and the heat of this battle all night. It's not settling down either, is it? Oh, it's a grab of the hair. That's not on, I'm afraid. Well, we're going to have two players attend the discipline here in last week. There's a chance they might be going again. Frank Paul Nwasala, was it? All over the top yeah. of McCarthy. Thank you. Well, he took him off the ball, didn't he? Who? Nwasala. Yeah, whoa, 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 yeah whoa. he's absolutely... Hey! Oh, oh hello. Hey! Louis! Well, welcome to the Super League, Frank Paul. Isn't it? But what it does, it sets up the rematch when these two play again. It does, doesn't it? And there's a symbol, there's a yellow card for Frank Paul Nuasala, who is eyeballing Louis McCarthy's guard. Hair pull and a punch. Walk off. Well, he played Louis McCarthy's guard, but follows him. I think he will. And I think the referee's doing well here just to delay because Frank Paul is waiting. Frank Paul Nuasala is waiting for the St. Helens Leeds forward. And that's been scored off the field by Steve Blakely, Louis. former soccer Louis. Wigan player, of course, is also Louis. a black belt in karate. So Frank Paul causes trouble. And then that follows. Mugs is on. And people who run Saints know Mugs. Oh, well, Jordan Turner has made a, a real great fist at that, uh, that position, and he. he, he He's been outstanding tonight. He's calmed things down. The two half back. He was he was Kieran's first choice for number six, wasn't he? At the start yeah. of the season. Then he sort of drifted around centre, loose forward, second row. 
He's back and he's uh, been directing the operation with Walsh tonight. And here they come looking for a big finish with Fleming. Fleming gets it away to Luke Walsh. They're piling forward with the light blue jerseys. It's Roby! And James Roby wins the match for St. Helens. Clinches it all ends up. And the Saints fans are going absolutely crazy. Right behind where Saints are celebrating. They will tell you they've not had much to shout about this year, but they will be screaming from the rooftops tonight. The Saints are back, and they are dark horses in this form for a trip all the way back to Old Trafford. An amazing effort. Walsh put the through, then back, bring one back on the inside. Look at the shimmy here. Keep it alive. Walsh knows exactly who's coming through. Waits until he commits himself. And the man that always supports, always does. The best hooker for many, many years, James Roby, has just completely turned this game on its head and put the final lid on a wonderful, wonderful tin, what you could call superb. Well, James Roby, he won a Man of the Match award in the 2014 Grand Final against Wigan. This is his 39th meeting with the old enemy. A try here and a 2012 win, 26-18. Top tackler against Wigan on Good Friday. And just a moment ago, Percival under the extras. And this has been a super, super St. Helens performance.